What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Just Anderson. I'm back with another upload. In today's upload, we're going to talk about the New Balance 2-Way V5. So, as always on this channel, we'll start with the traction. The traction that could be found on the V5s are multi-directional traction pattern, or for people that want to be more specific, a tread traction pattern that's multi-directional. My opinion on the traction on the V5, I would say that's average at best. I'm not saying that as like it's a bad thing or more so, it's just like sometimes the shoe just gives out on you on random, but don't be wary on like good courts or good clean courts that the traction holds up really nicely. It does squeak a lot. It is very responsive. You know, it's it's average. Like I wouldn't say it's better than the V3 because the V3 kind of just stuck to the ground. Where the V5, it does stick to the ground, but you will it will give out eventually, if that makes sense. Like you'll probably do a move and then pick up some dust and then you're like, damn, like gotta wipe my shoe now. I would rate this traction a three out of five or a 3.5 out of five at best. But you know, average. Next on the V5, we're gonna talk about the cushion. The cushion that could be found on the V5 is a combination of fuel cell and foam X. I think this is the best part of this shoe that it's one of those shoes that as soon as you put it on, it's comfortable, ready to go right out the box. There's not really much to say about the cushion because it's just that good. I will rate it like a five out of five. Once I put the shoe on, I was comfortable. I was having fun. Like I didn't have that break in time that I hate. And you guys know me. For a long time subscribers or people that's been on my channel, you guys know I hate shoes that I gotta break in and do the extra and take it off, put it back on. So seeing as though that this shoe, just like the V3, because that's the one I played in, I didn't play in the V4, that as soon as I put it on my feet, I'm good to go and ready and I'm locked and I can play. It's already in my rotation. Just for that simple fact alone. Like even with the traction being like a little iffy, the fact that I can just put it on and I'm good to go and I don't gotta break it in. It's up there in one of my shoes in my rotation. So I would say this is the best part of the shoe. Next on the V5, we're gonna talk about the materials. The materials that could be found on the V5 is a combination of mesh and synthetic. With that being said, it feels so good on feet. It's very soft, very plush, you know. You can't, you just really can't talk enough about like comfort when it comes to new balance shoes. I feel like with the V3 and with this shoe, the V5, these two shoes in general just was just comfortable in terms of cushion and the materials and you, you can't go wrong so like i would say, i'll probably give that a five out of five for this section too because the shoe's just comfortable like you know it is a cute color that i got on or whatever but i usually wear this shoe mainly for the comfort rather than like the traction you know what i'm saying the comfort of the shoe just it feels good on your feet when you're playing and you know i played in some league games in this shoe i've trained in this shoe i've done a lot in this shoe like i think out of most of my performance tests i've done the most work in this shoe and i can definitely say it's just one of those shoes that like if you want a shoe to just pick up and go to like an open run or a game you wouldn't mind hooping in these i would definitely say the materials is a five out of five so lastly for the v5 we're gonna talk about the fit in terms of the fit, I would say go true to size. Like, why not? <laughs> like, I don't know why this is a question. I always say just go true to size. I never go half a size up or down. In terms of lockdown, the lockdown is really good. Something about me that I usually always take out my laces. Not all the way, but like to like maybe like this part of the shoe. And then I just retighten it before every game, every run, every practice. Like, that's just something I always do. It's what I believe helps with, you know, lockdown and support. Not only that, the collar around the ankle is very soft, very plush. It's, you know, it's a nice feeling. Um, besides that, that's, there's really not much to say. I would say that the fit is a four out of five. Really good fit. What I can say about the V5 to sum up this whole video is that it's a very solid performer. And it's only like 120, 125. I'll probably put the price down at the bottom. But like, if you're looking for a hoop shoe that you just, you know, good comfort, average but good traction at best, and just overall comfortable, I would definitely suggest the V5 to anybody. So far, New Balance has been killing it with their shoes. And personally, this has definitely cracked my rotation. When I do my next what's in my bag video, this is definitely gonna be on that list. I'll probably do like a top 10 instead of like a top five with an honorable mention. We shall see, but fire shoe. Besides that, um, I would appreciate y'all for coming to another video. If you guys could just put a thumbs up, like it for me, it helps with the algorithm. Just subscribe, join the family. But besides that, it's your boy, Just Anderson. I appreciate y'all for checking out another video. I'm going to see you on the next one, man. Peace. So you got a hum on that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Hey. What? Who can I run to when all my people go?